Hey, hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm DK and this is Brooklyn. Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Um, and I thank you guys for watching my first two videos and also subscribing. Also, so, talk to Mr. Also, subscribing to my channel. And with that now, if you guys haven't subscribed, though, subscribe. I don't know what's going on with me in this guest word. Anyway, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, you can always hit that red button down below. Okay, so if you haven't realized from the intro of my video, I am officially here in Brooklyn. Brooklyn is home. Um, I moved here when I was 16 for peaks in Jamaica. Something I'll talk about in a future episode. Um, but I'm, I've been living here since for the last 16 years and I honestly love it. It's complex and complicated. It's loud and boisterous. Sometimes it can be dirty, but sometimes it can be messy. But there are so many different elements about Brooklyn that I love, including the restaurants, my favorite corner store, um, the fact that there is a large community of Caribbean um, people here. It is home to art and artists. Um, some of the most dynamic actors and artists are from Brooklyn. Biggie and Jay-Z and Lil' Kim. Um, Spikey has a studio here. Lupita lives in Brooklyn. Um, there's so many um, artists and actors and artists and great people that are from Brooklyn. It is also home to some of the most expensive real estate in New York and across this country. Hard to believe for some who may live here and may live in a box. So for the next series of videos, I'll be giving you guys a look at the top four most expensive neighborhoods right here in Brooklyn. Number four happens to be Fort Greene. Let's try that again. That's Fort Greene. Hopefully I got that T. So it's F-O-R-T and green at the end, like the color of course, um, minus the you have seen the series she's gotta have it if you've been to the barclay center if you have been to bam music festival you definitely know what era i am talking about the median sales price for a home in this neighborhood is 1.4 million dollars yes and i know what some of you guys are thinking 1.4 million dollars for brooklyn yes hard to believe for some i honestly believe it and i can tell why Brooklyn is home to some of the best brownstones, so the best real estate. It's the, it's always and will forever, in my opinion, will ever be the eighth place. Everyone wants to live here, everyone wants to come here. Um, so I don't um, blame real estate agents, I don't blame sellers, I don't blame, blame property owners when they value the price of real estate here high. Brooklyn is also home to some of the most iconic spots and iconic areas, iconic monuments of uh, their New York City. So we're talking about Prospect Park. We're talking about Brooklyn Heights. If you've seen Sex and the City, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, we're talking about the Brooklyn Bridge. We're talking about so many different areas and facets um, that are so recognizable on TV and movies. If you're looking to rent an apartment in this neighborhood, you are looking at studio apartments that are running around $1,900, $1,950, $2,000 for a studio apartment per month. Uh, the two bedroom apartments here are around $4,500. Um, and for some, obviously, that might seem very expensive. There's always this conversation about gentrification because this neighborhood um, was predominantly a black neighborhood. Um, but things have changed. And with the increase in the restaurants and the fact that the Barclay Center is in this neighborhood and the fact that now people are realizing the value of a brownstone, the prices of apartments here in this neighborhood have been through the roof. Um, but I can always tell why this neighborhood is definitely um, one of the big places to live. We're looking at brownstones, we're looking at high ceilings, apartments with high ceilings, we're looking at a 
slew of fancy restaurants. We're looking at convenience. We're looking at food festivals and everything that occurs in this neighborhood. Um, one of my favorite activities in this community happens to be Dance Africa. Um, I came here with my best friend maybe one, twice, maybe three times um, in the past couple of years. It is actually one of my favorite activities here in Europe. Um, it's called Dance Africa. It's a celebration of African and Caribbean culture, a celebration of our food, our music. When I tell you this is the place to be around May, Memorial weekend, you've got to be here. The food is amazing. The people, just the vibe uh, that happens around here just makes me understand and makes me realize how much I love it. Anyways, I have talked a lot, um, but we're gonna explore the neighborhood. Stones. Um, I'll possibly stop by. I need to get the whole So I'm gonna stop by Whole Foods for a second, and we're just gonna check out this neighborhood and why it is one of the most expensive neighborhoods right here. Bro. While Fort Greene is home to some of New York's most expensive real estate, this neighborhood was once crime-ridden and marred by poverty. In 1858, the New York Times declared this neighborhood homes of the poor. Funny how that worked out. Today, homes in this neighborhood are as high as $4.94 million. Yes, million dollars. With average home sales, at around 1.4 million dollars. Wow. I stopped by Caesars and Panada to grab me a bite. It's a Latin food truck that's stationed right here by the Atlantic Terminal Mall. They have some of the best tacos and empanadas here in Brooklyn. Like seriously. There's just something about street food that just hits that spot. Um, my favorite is the chicken and spinach empanada. You've got to check them out and let me know what you think.
This is the film studio of Oscar winning director Spike Lee. It's located at the corner of South Elliott Place, right here in Fort Greene. The painting on the wall, yes, it's a celebration of his most famous work, Do the Right Thing, which came out in 1989. Spoiler alert, the entire movie was not filmed here in Fort Greene. It was filmed in the bed community. The film director uses the outside of the studio to not only promote his work, but to support democracy, equality, and justice for all. But listen, in 2016, he had a whole concert here on the street to celebrate the life of music legend Prince. It was a whole vibe. Everybody knows, Brooklyn's a place to have a block party. If you are looking to rent an apartment here, just make sure your pockets are heavy. The average studio apartment in this neighborhood costs around $1,900 a month, and you would need to at least make $116,000 a year to afford a one bedroom apartment here. While this may seem like a lot, this neighborhood provides you access to some of the best in Brooklyn, including a wide range of restaurants and bars, and you're basically a walking distance from the Barclays Center. Most apartments here are either in the coveted brownstone apartments where you will definitely be waking up to high ceilings, big windows, and antique home designs. So it's definitely worth it. And this is Fort Greene, a thriving community rich in culture and history. It celebrates some of the best in New York City with a splash of culture, music, and a few extra trees. And it is number four on my list of most expensive places to live in Brooklyn. Stay tuned for more. But in the meantime, in the words of Brooklyn's best, B.I.G., spread the love. It's the Brooklyn way. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can always follow me on Instagram at I am DK Barnes.